in this lecture we are going to talk about the first principle of scamper which is about substitution or simplification. As I mentioned earlier the letter S here stands for simplification or substitution and the idea is to consider how the existing process, procedure, material, resources, equipment, product or even service can be simplified or substituted with something else thereby we overcome the problem. So substituting the existing element may be a subcomponent of the element or the solution with something else. We all know the benefits of process simplification. They are very direct and obvious. It leads to drastic reduction in processing times, turnaround times, effort, cost, improvement in efficiency. So there are so many benefits of simplification. So I would conclude that the purpose of simplify or substitute in scamper is to act as a stimulus for idea generation and the way it is also arranged in scamper is because the biggest of the opportunities are taken up first. So substitute or simplify usually is a big opportunity and that is why we have S above all the other principles. So when you think of a solution for a problem and if you see that the terms simplify and substitute are pinned in front of you or if someone throws out a, a flashcard at you, won't it trigger you to channelize your thinking process in that direction? That is what Scamper is supposed to do. So you are supposed to direct your thinking towards substitution or simplification the moment you have a problem on hand. So let's talk about some examples now. Let's say you are a facility manager for a hotel and the hotel wants to reduce the cost, the running cost of the hotel and if you try to apply the principle of substitution, you might readily substitute some of the lights in the restaurant which probably let's say are CFL bulbs that is compact fluorescent bulbs, you replace them with LED. The moment you replace it you all know what the benefits are, you get more light and you also have a reduction in energy around 20%. Let's take uh, another common example of simplification. Let's not take an example from corporate, let's take an example from public sector. If you look at most democratic countries, they use manual voting process. The process is cumbersome, all of us know that because there's going to be transit of ballot boxes from one location to another. There's going to be safety, security involved, loss of the ballot boxes, then inaccuracy in counting. So there are so many challenges with manual voting. So if you simplify that whole process, it would mean that you are automating it and in doing so, you are ensuring that you can even give the results instantaneously. Now, both these examples I talked about might look quite lame to you. The reason I've taken very simple and straightforward and very, very obvious examples here is because even such an obvious thing may be just glaring in front of you and you are not able to think in that direction just because you did not have the right stimulus. So the idea here is to give you a very simple and easy example so that you are able to relate to that example and in any other situation you are able to apply the stimulus aptly. So that is the purpose of taking these two examples. So don't misunderstand scamper for being very lame and obvious. Let me now talk about some tips which can help you to effectively apply the principle of substitution when you are going to use scamper in both manufacturing and service and lastly also in strategic situations. When you are applying it in manufacturing, you should think on lines such as can I substitute this material with other material so that I can achieve my cost reduction target or increased strength. Where else can I make this product work? That is, you have a product, can I substitute that product in some other place? Can I substitute the current machinery with other machines which have simple function and low cost? Can I substitute the existing source with another source that is cheaper or better? Is there a way to assemble the product so that the time or the defects 
are reduced so i have prompted some questions which can help you to generate ideas even right away for your business if you're from manufacturing now let's take some service examples you could ask questions like can i substitute this activity with another activity that can deliver better results can i substitute our existing customer segment with another customer segment which has lesser risk because sometimes doing business is about taking more risks is there a way i can mitigate my risk can i shift from one customer segment to another can we simplify the whole process to reduce the defects can we simplify the application forms other forms where the customer touch points are available can i simplify some of the procedures all of which resulting in reduction of the time needed or effort needed now we will move further we will talk about strategic or leadership situations where you can use substitution so you could ask questions such as can we substitute the product line revenue with another with a long term growth perspective so i have a product can i replace that with another product thereby it gives me a longer life because you know every product has a life span what other tone of voice can we use to convey the same message with a less negative impact so we are substituting our communication message can we substitute another department's solution to tackle the problem of this department can we substitute the current people for better but for more expensive people could we substitute the existing advertising medium with another medium so those are some of the prompters the idea here is to help you think in different ways in different directions if you are having a problem on hand the way you have to start is to apply the first principle of scamper and see if you can generate a solution if not move on further we will talk about the next principle and you apply the second principle in fact even when you get great ideas with the first principle you can go through the motion and finish all the principles and generate as many ideas as you think are apt and then you can start filtering them okay with that note i'm going to wrap up this lecture